Theresa May's push for a Brexit breakthrough has been dramatically boosted with French officials hinting at a possible compromise on the eve of an EU summit. Sources in President Emmanuel Macron's government indicated a surprise readiness to help solve the Irish border row that has deadlocked the Brussels negotiations for weeks. There is a possible space to find an agreement, said one French official. Mrs May is due to address EU leaders on her position in the negotiations ahead of the summit dinner in Brussels tonight. However, Theresa May will be excluded from the meal where the leaders of the 27 nations staying in the EU after Brexit will discuss the state of the talks. British officials were expecting little progress at the summit, with the Prime Minister understood to be focused on ensuring the technical negotiations between UK and EU officials stay on track, and today French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire confirmed that a Brexit deal was not far away and could be reached in the coming weeks. In an interview with France's Radio Classique he said, We are not far from a deal. The lifeline from the President's Elysee Palace in Paris yesterday followed fears among officials that today's gathering of EU leaders in Brussels is unlikely to break the deadlock. President Macron is seen as a key figure in the negotiations whose outspoken criticism of Britain's Brexit vote led to the Prime Minister's proposals being rebuffed at an earlier summit in Salzburg last month. But his officials yesterday indicated that fresh proposals for a temporary backstop contingency plan as an insurance policy designed to keep no hard border between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic could be put on the table. Their compromise included a guarantee the so-called backstop would be temporary but without too precise an end date, the Elysee Palace source said. A tense meeting of Mrs May's cabinet spent two and a half hours discussing the stalled Brexit negotiations yesterday ahead of her trip to Brussels. She insisted that a deal was possible, telling her ministers, I am convinced that if we as a government stand together and stand firm we can achieve this. Ministers were said to have stayed united following concerns some could quit if the prime minister went too far in compromising with Brussels. The concerns were intensified after eight pro-Brexit ministers including Michael Gove, Dominic Raab and Jeremy Hunt met over pizzas in Commons leader Andrea Leadsom's office the evening before cabinet to discuss the government's position in the negotiations. But insiders said there were no resignation threats at the cabinet meeting yesterday. Instead, ministers spent much of the discussions focused on how to come up with a mechanism to ensure any backstop cannot become permanent. Trapping the UK in the EU Customs Union indefinitely, Attorney General Geoffrey Cox was said to have delivered a masterful contribution about how the EU's latest proposal for a backstop for a backstop was unacceptable. Following the meeting, the Prime Minister's spokesman said, she said we have made progress on a huge number of issues in the negotiations but there remain sticking points in two key areas. The PM said it is not possible for her or any UK Prime Minister to sign up to an agreement that would let a customs border down the Irish Sea. She said we also need to ensure that we do not have a situation where the UK will be kept indefinitely in the backstop against our will. Dominic Raab, the Brexit Secretary, joined a number of ministers in thanking the UK's negotiating teams for their hard work. He said good progress had been made on the withdrawal agreement and on the future framework. Cabinet strongly supported the Prime Minister over the importance of maintaining the integrity of the Union. Cabinet also agreed that we must be able to ensure that we cannot be kept in the backstop arrangement indefinitely. The PM said there will no doubt be challenging moments ahead, that is in the nature of negotiations. She said she is committed to ensuring a Brexit that delivers on the referendum results, safeguards jobs and security and which preserves our Union. Before the Cabinet meeting. Two ministers present at the pizza summit played down suggestions of rebellion against the Prime Minister. International Development Secretary Penny Mordaunt told Sky News, No one is planning on resigning. We are all doing our jobs and we are trying to get the best deal for this country. And that's it. We are approaching the end of negotiations. This is going to be a difficult time. But the whole cabinet is digging in to get the best deal for this country. And Mrs. Leitsam said, The Prime Minister is doing a very... Very complicated job and I'm fully supporting her in getting that done. EU Council President Donald Tusk attempted to increase the pressure on Mrs May to come forward with new concrete proposals at the summit and claimed there were no grounds for optimism about the chances of a deal. As I see it, the only source of hope for a deal for now is the goodwill and determination on both sides, Mr Tusk told a Brussels press conference. However, for a breakthrough to take place, Besides goodwill we need new facts. 
Tomorrow I am going to ask Prime Minister May whether she has concrete proposals on how to break the impasse. Only such proposals can determine if a breakthrough is possible. EU chief Brexit negotiator Michelle Barnier yesterday said that more time was needed to find an agreement to deliver an orderly UK withdrawal and keep the Irish border open. We will take this time, calmly and seriously, to find this global agreement in the next weeks, he said. Germany's Europe minister, Michael Roth, said Berlin's message to Mrs May was, take responsibility and be constructive.